All right, everybody, I'd like to introduce you to planet Earth. Yes, this unassuming little orange dot will become the birthplace of all humanity. Let's zoom in and place down our very first human beings right there. There we go. What's his name? Mimi. <laughs> Great name, that one. I can tell he's going to be he's going to be very special. And I know that because his favorite food is an alcoholic beverage. Anyway, as I place down a couple more humans and by a couple, I mean a couple of thousand, we'll put the old theory to the test. And that is that humanity is capable of surviving anything that the universe throws at it. And for the purpose of this video, I'm the universe and anything means atomic bomb. Well, okay, maybe we should start a little bit smaller and work our way up to that. So what I believe we're witnessing right here is humanity in its most primitive form. They've created fire and they're all... I don't know why there's so many people in that tent and why it's shaking, but... Well, I guess that just means that humanity is growing. That's all it is. It's growing rapidly. <laughs> quite rapidly. So let's speed things up a little bit. And now we're 10 years in the future where our population has remained exactly the same as it was 10 years ago. Nobody was born and nobody died. So let's do something about that. Crocodiles. Lots and lots of crocodiles. Let's see how this goes. Okay, well I think the humans are ganging up on the crocodiles here and surprisingly the crocodiles <laughs> seem to be running away and dying in the process. You guys went and proved everyone wrong. Now go and enjoy whatever it is you're doing inside of that tent. I'd rather not know. And I feel like every curse should be followed by a blessing and what better blessing than to grant these human beings the gift of dog. Yes, dog. Now I'm no expert or anything but if you ask me I'd say that humanity is thriving and you can see here that we've fit 2,113 villagers into a place that can fit 21. Very, very tactically testicle. We've also managed to fit them all <laughs> into a total of seven houses. But, you know, I can't help but wonder what more they might be capable of if they had a little bit more than just a bunch of sand surrounded by water. So, I'm going to give them a little bit of grass. Look at this, a little bit of greenery, something for them to munch on at night before bed. And as expected, with lovely grass, comes lovely trees. With lovely trees comes lovely wood and with lovely wood comes absolutely nothing. And so now we can still fit 21 people and have seven houses. Well, I don't know about you, but I'll call that a resounding success if I ever saw one. And now in all the time it took me to go take a piss and come back, almost everybody is now dead. <laughs> Fantastic. And what I want to know more than anything else at this point is whether or not Mimi is still alive. <laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter. I suck as he is, <laughs> so everything's okay. Okay. And he's an alcoholic too. He's also a pretty terrible person. Let's kill him. Oh, you better think fast, mate. <laughs> you better think fast. Here we go. Let's see how you deal with this. Now, if he does make it out of here, oh, he's dead. Well, there you go. Humanity failed their second challenge. <laughs> So how about now we create another couple of civilizations separated by this large body of water? And the goal then is to populate each of these civilizations also with copious amounts of human beings and give them enough time to eventually start to hate each other and inevitably start the first war in history. World War uh, 1. Okay, here we go. This is a challenge. So now the, uh, the great land of Vabogo, well, that's hated by absolutely everybody else on planet Earth. Admittedly, the rest of the world is pretty underwhelming when it comes to their military capabilities. After all, they're still all living in tents. And now about 20 years into the future, um, pretty much everybody died. And I feel like we desperately need to breathe some life back into this island. So I'm going to repopulate it with a couple of humans. Just a few, not too many. We don't want overpopulation to occur. Oh wow, we just popped up a little castle thing. I'm so proud of you guys. I mean, I don't know what it is, but I like it. It also looks like the inside is on fire and I like that even more. Let's see how they deal with a dragon. So far it seems like they're doing pretty well. They're laying into it like a cheeky kebab after one hell of a bender. And <laughs> they killed it. I'm impressed. They're also burning to death and so was the island. I'm even more impressed. Well, having survived their second big challenge, I think I'm going to give them the gift of mithril and see what they do with this. I'll also give them some silver and some gold because I'm feeling sassy. You know what? Have some adamantine too. Then go out and destroy your neighbors. You know what? That actually sounds like such a good idea that I think I might go out and destroy your neighbors too. <laughs> Beautiful. Wait, hold on. Who's this? Who the heck? What? What is this? Dimkin. <laughs> Who is Dimkin? This guy was just out fishing. He comes back and he's like, oh. Wait, hold on a second. Who the heck is this? Avini Chu, the chosen one. One year old just popped out <laughs> the second the bomb dropped. This little mouse has done pretty good too. Looking for a king. Oh. 
Oh, hold on a second. I think I might have your king right here, sir. There you go. Look at that. Reunited at last. You know, I feel like this little fella might enjoy living on an island full of rats. Here you go. Have a couple of them. They're very, very friendly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're eating each other. <laughs> oh no. Meanwhile, back at Vabogo, they've developed windmills and farming. Tools by the look of it. Boats. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that green flag right there is a military force. Oh wow. They've also built an actual car. And they're now living in brick houses. They certainly are progressing well. Let's drop a couple. Oh, that's a lot bigger. <laughs> that's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> no. All right. Well, what would happen if I dropped one on their castle? <laughs> All right. So we're going to give these people the gift of poultry, you know, because who doesn't love a little bit of fried chicken? Then we'll give them the old lamb kebab and we'll give them a couple of two old beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on the sesame seed bun. What I like most about this game is no matter where you look, you always have a clear idea of exactly what's going on. Okay, hold on a sec. I don't know what's going on here, but some psycho is running around killing it. Who is this weirdo? Oh, it's an angry chicken. <laughs> There's a chicken killing everyone. Wow. Okay, hold on a second. It seems like Vabogo has been taken over by somebody. Seemingly by this place right here with 39 people. Apparently they conquered my village of 3,460. <laughs> I mean, I guess it could happen, but I don't like that. So let me plant some some seeds of discord and see if I can get them to split up. <laughs> what? I asked for seeds of discord, not ginormous meteor. Though admittedly, I'm pretty sure that all of that was orchestrated by the village at the top that took over this one. So, you know, payback's a little bit of a B word. <laughs> That's what you get, you stupid. Now humanity can truly thrive. And I believe it's also time for humanity to face their next challenge, which will be on this block of sand just out to the east. The humans will meet an army of evil mages. A lot of evil mages. All the evil mages that ever existed anywhere in the galaxy. Let's see how you guys deal with this. Not very well by the look of things. <laughs> this is going terribly. Oh, they're even killing the people on the other island. Settle down, evil mages, you stupid idiots. What are you doing? You're burning the whole place down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to put out fires all over the place. You guys need to settle down, please. You're causing too much trouble. <laughs> I love it. Oh, they're the only ones that survived. <laughs> now, if we really want to see our little people grow, I think we're going to need to give them a little bit more room to play with. So let's expand their island ever so slightly. And, uh, all right, looks like a... Parabolic. So what I'm noticing is that humanity on the other island seems to be thriving and that's making me a little bit jealous because my main project over here doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. Well, besides whatever these couple thousand people are doing in that one tiny house. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect every single island together and then I'm going to start a war and now it's on, but it's only against two other kingdoms because all the others have died. All right, well, this is what we like to see. It seems like the Orange Kingdom has decided to waltz its way across the pond and declare war. Or meanwhile, it seems like one of my chickens has learned how to cast magic. Oh, <laughs> the orange guys took over. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Okay, I'll be honest. I genuinely have no idea how war works in this game at all. At this point, I'm so confused. I think I'll just make all the houses come to life. That seems like the only logical thing to do at this point. <laughs> They're killing their houses. <laughs> oh, no, they killed it. <laughs> You're all are homeless now, you idiots. Now, where are you going to hide when the zombie virus starts to spread amongst the community? Excuse me, everybody. It does not seem like you are adhering to social distancing policies. Please put on your mask. Bet you regret taking over my kingdom now. Actually, pretty impressive display of military might, I must admit. That just will not do. Deal with this. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, how about this? Okay, fine. Maybe this. Well, that didn't last long. How about this? Okay, I'm starting to run out of ideas. Oh yeah, how about this? Couple of these. This will be great. Just a few. Not too many. Just, just a couple. Just <laughs> What's the matter, guys? You were so cocky five seconds ago. But still, this supports my arguments that human beings are very resilient. Look, they can't get rid of them. As soon as they think they have, they pop up somewhere else. Unless you do this. 
Then even the aliens die. Wow, look at that. They're populating the Earth themselves now. You know, I can't help but wonder if they're... Okay, these aliens are not friendly. I repeat, <laughs> these aliens are not friendly. But what I really feel would stop these silly humans from squabbling amongst each other and finally unite is a ginormous crab with laser beams coming out of his hands. That's exactly what humanity needs. Come on, guys. It's you versus this crab. If you don't get your crap together, everybody is going to become crab, 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 crap. Crap. You're all crap. All right, how about if I just stand here and I'll let these guys go to town? <laughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't know that was going to happen. Truly, that was that was not planned. You know what? At this point, I, I think I'm done with humanity. I, I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with any of you. But let me impress you with this. Don't worry. I'm not done yet. Hold on. Just stay, stay there. Keep being impressed. Now I'll do some vertical ones. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not entertained? Couple of diagonals. And then we'll finish with a little bit of a circle-y circle. And now, look at that. Someone survived. <laughs> Someone survived. Oh my goodness, a slime. 